Welcome to ACC. I know that you all are new students, right? New students at ACC, and so you're just wondering how to get started. And so that's what we're going to go over. So your very first step is to go on to arapaho.edu, and you're going to, hang on, my pointer. Complete your admissions application. So that's at arapaho.edu. You'll click apply. And then within three business days, you'll get an acceptance letter to your email address. The next thing you're going to want to do, if you want to use financial aid, you'll apply for financial aid, and there's more information through our financial aid office. The next thing you want to do is log into your MyACC account, which is through the portal, and you'll activate your student email account. That's really... Did you have a question, Chewy? You want to use your Gmail account. Okay, you can still use your Gmail account, but for anything ACC related, anybody at the school is going to use your ACC student email account. So that's why it's super important to activate that, okay? Cool. The next thing you're gonna do is complete the AccuPlacer placement test. So for that, you're going to contact the testing center and the AccuPlacer consists of uh, math, and an English placement test. Your next step is to sign up for new student orientation. This is through our Student Life Office. You can sign up on our website on the Student Life webpage. Or you can come in, you can also call 797-5668 to sign up for that new student orientation. That's where they're going to go over how to um, get your student ID card, which is a really quick process of admissions and records. And also you'll start going through the registration process and really learning what that looks like. At that point, um, you'll want to make an appointment with your academic advisor so that they can help you register for classes. Can yeah, you Princess Lamb. Can you help me register for classes? So I can help you with your academic accommodations, but the academic advisor they're going to be the best person to go through what your course plan looks like. That's why it's important to make an appointment with them. Sound good? Okay. So you'll register for your classes, which your advisor will help you with. Then, if you do need academic accommodations, so if you've had a 504 plan or an IEP um, or any kind of medical documentation of a disability, that's what we would need. Um, you would do an intake appointment with us, and we'll talk through what academic accommodations make the most sense for you and the classes that you're taking at ACC. Yes? How about temporary accommodations? Yeah, we do offer temporary accommodations. So for example, if you break your arm and then need help with note-taking, we can put a temporary note-taking accommodation in place for you. Great question. The next thing on your list of things to do is to visit either the cashier's office or through your My ACC portal. You can check um, your payment deadlines and figure out if you need to set up a payment plan to actually pay for your classes. If you're going to be driving to campus, I don't know if some of you are. Chewy is. Um, that's where you'll go to campus police for your parking pass. And then the last step is to, yes, Princess Leia. Can I get a parking pass for my time card? Sure, it might be an extra charge. Oh, okay. Good to know. The last step is to go to the bookstore. You can either purchase your textbooks um, on campus at the bookstore or online. So that's a really quick overview of how to get started at ACC. Any other questions?